This is the election bureau on City TV and City FM. We are coming to you live from the Mensha Palace in Kumasi. The Asante Hene Otunforce to the second is, is coming out to cast his vote. He's going to go through the process. He's in the company of his wife, Lady Julia, and the member of parliament for the Mensha South constituency who doubles as the education minister, Matthew Opoku Prempe, the Kumasi mayor, the chief of staff at the Mensha Palace, some sub-chiefs, the linguist, as well as the subject of the Asante Hene Otun to the second. He just came out from the Mensha Palace, going to cast his ballot at the Mensha Palace polling station. Security arrangements have been done here. Everyone has been told to put on their marks. It's very strict here in terms of the adherence of the protocols and the security arrangements here. The 2472, the second, has been so vocal about the fact that all should be peaceful. The election should be peaceful during, before and after. Prior to the elections, political party leaders, the security heads, as well as the civil society organizations have come to the Mensha Palace and the utterances he gave was that they should ensure this election is a peaceful one. So today, he is going to exhibit that, go through the process, after that, he goes back to the palace. The Asante Hene is following the COVID-19 protocols that have been put in place here. Currently, he is doing the hand washing. Then, after that, he will be taken through all the COVID-19 protocols that have been put in place by the Electoral Commission of Ghana. Then, he will cast his ballot. So, like I said earlier... The Asante Hini has been so vocal about how uh, everyone should ensure that this election should be a peaceful one. Security heads, civil society organizations, of course, just last week we had officials from the Small Arms and Light Weapon Commission coming to pay a courtesy call on him at the Mensha Palace. And what Otun Four said to the second to them was that he wants peace. He was worried about the fact that there's been proliferation of arms in the country. He cited incidents, recent incidents of the Alaba shooting. He also cited an incident at IDRC where a young man pulled a gun and shot someone during an altercation. And then he recounted some processes or some disturbances that happened in Sierra Leone after their elections. He mentioned that when he went there, he saw that the buildings were pierced with some bullets in that country. Then he said that we have only one Ghana. So if we fight in Ghana, there's no any Ghana for us. So the Otufo himself has been so vocal on this. And the Otufo has been stressing this fact that the election should be peaceful. And that is the word he's been giving to everyone. So the Otufo has gone through the covid 19 protocols the security arrangement here is so tight and he's going through the verification of his ballot then after that he'll be issued with a ballot paper the presidential one of course then he would go ahead and cast his ballot then he'll be given the presidential uh, the parliamentary ballot paper then he will cast that one too we are coming to you live from the Mensha Palace. This is the election bureau on City TV and City FM as well as citynewsroom.com. The Asante Hene Otunfo Osaiti to the second is casting his ballot today with his wife, Lady Julia, the protocol officer, Mr. Sahene, the chief of staff at the Mensha Palace as well as some sub chiefs. The education minister, who is also the member of parliament for Mensha South constituency, Dr. Matthew Poku Prempe, 
uh, is also part of the entourage of the Asante Hene. So the Asante Hene is going there right now to cast his ballot. A lot of people have been told to move away from where the king is casting his ballot. An umbrella has been used to block where he is uh, casting his ballot. So the Asante Hima has also just arrived in a vehicle and the Asante Hima is also going to go through the same process. Live from the Mensha Palace, this is the election bureau on City TV and City FM as well as citynewsroom.com. Trust us, we'll be bringing you all the updates from all 275 constituencies across Ghana. As far as the 2020 presidential and parliamentary elections are concerned. Trust us with credible information, credible information on this polls. So the Asante Hene has also taken the parliamentary ballot. Then he's casting that one. Lady Julia follows suit. And the Asante Hema is also uh, starting the process by observing the COVID-19 protocols here at the Mensha Palace. Voting is ongoing across all constituencies in Ghana as well as the Ashanti region. And we are coming to you live from the Mensha Palace. The Asante Hene is done with the process. Lady Julia is following suit uh, to cast her presidential ballot and uh, they will go back to the palace. The Asante Hema is also beginning the process from the hand washing to uh, where she will be casting her ballot. So the Asante Hema has been so vocal uh, that the election should be a peaceful one. We've heard his utterances when political party leaders have come to the Mensha Palace to pay a KTC call on him. We heard his utterances when heads of security agencies talk of the Ghana Armed Forces, the Ghana Police Service, the IGP, the CDS, all came to him. He admonished them to ensure peace and security. When officials of the Small Arms Commission came to him, he expressed worry about the proliferation of arms in the country. And then he says that there should be a concerted effort in controlling the increase in gun-related violence. He cited the recent Alaba shooting incident where some gunmen on motorbikes in a broad daylight, in a broad daylight uh, went on a shooting spree. And then the incident at Aidiase. So we are coming to you live from the Mesia Palace. It's the 2020 general elections, parliamentary and presidential polls, where the Asante Hene, the Asante Hima, as well as the wife of the Asante Hene, Lady Julia, and some sub chiefs here at the Mesia Palace of Asante Man are casting their ballot, going through the process peacefully without any hitch. A lot of people have come here also to catch a glimpse of the Asante Hene as he goes through the process. How important the Asante residents or inhabitants in the Ashanti region revere the Asante Hene. His subjects usually come around in processes like this to observe what is going on. The Kumasi mayor Osayo SB entry, he's also part of the entourage of the Asante Hene Otunfo Osayo Tutu II. So the Asante Hema has taken her turn to also cast her ballot. She has gone through all the COVID protocols and she's been issued the presidential ballot and she's going to cast her ballot right now. She's been assisted by some of her subjects with an umbrella on her that will be used to block where the ballot is so that no one is able to peep through where her choice of voting is since the balloting is a secret one and that has been observed here. 
all the people that have come here to catch a glimpse of the Asante Heni have been asked to put on their masks as part of the observation of the COVID-19 protocols. This is the Election Bureau, City TV and City FM trusters with comprehensive coverage of the 2020 presidential and parliamentary elections. So it's the turn of the Asante Hima, who is uh, currently casting her ballot of the presidential ballot. And afterwards, she'll be issued with the parliamentary ballot, where she also cast it. So the Asante Hima is currently waiting for the Asante Hima to be done with the process, so he can return to the palace with his wife, Lady Julia. So a lot of people have come here, a lot of journalists trying to uh, get the live coverage here, but trust us, this is City TV, the election bureau, and we are coming to you live from the Menshia Palace, where the Asante Hini Otunfo said to the second, the Asante Hima, as well as the wife of the Asante Hini, Lady Julia, some sub chiefs, some officials at the office of the Asante Hene are also uh, going through the process. The vehicle is ready and that is going to um, take the Asante Hema back to her palace. This vehicle brought her here at the foyer where the polling station is situated here at the forecourt of the Mensha Palace. So the Asante Hima is almost done with the process. She has been issued with the parliamentary ballot. So in shots or in pictures now is the vehicle that brought in the Asante Hima and that vehicle is waiting ready to take the Asante Hima back to her palace. But the Asante Hima and Lady Julia, as well as some officials of the Mensha Palace, walked here. So the Asante Hima is coming back to the vehicle. The Asante Hima will walk back uh, with the uh, wife, the wife, Lady Julia, as well as some sub-chiefs who escorted him to the polling station here at the forecourt of the Mensha Palace. In the background, you can hear some um, accolades. The subjects are trying to hail the Asante monarch. The Kumasi mayor is part of the Taraj, the education minister, who is member of parliament for this area, Mensha South. Dr. Matthew Opoku Prempe is also here. So the Asante Hene is done. He's now going back to the palace. The accolades are just pouring in from his subjects who have come here to catch a glimpse of the process. So the Asante Hima uh, is going back to her palace and you can see um, the kind of security that is here and then she is going back into the vehicle. She is going back into the vehicle and you can see in pictures the Asante Hene going back to the palace. So that is it for the voting process of the royals.